So the Carolina Panthers and Frank Reich are absolutely cooking this offseason. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and leave a comment. Let me know what is your favorite move the Panthers have made this offseason and which quarterback would you like to see them take here in the 2023 NFL draft? So let's go back to last season and set this up. Uh, Scott Fitter talked about he wanted to create a team in which uh, you could drop in a young quarterback and he would be able to find success. And last season, they really built that offensive line. They felt like their defense was in a good place. Uh, you get guys coming back on defense like Brian Burns, Shaq Thompson, Jeremy Chin, J.C. Horn, Derek Brown. That's a lot of pieces on that defensive side of the ball. Uh, like I said, the offensive line with their first pick in the draft last year, they take Ikemu Kwanu. They have Taylor Moten on the other side, bring in guys like Bradley Bozeman, Austin Corbett. Uh, they drafted Brady Christensen, who was a solid player on the at the right guard spot. So the defensive side looks good. The offensive line looks good. Um, they weren't in a great place at quarterback last year, obviously, with Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold. But here in 2023, with the draft quickly approaching, the Panthers decided they would make the bold move to make that trade up to number one. So hopefully they can find that quarterback that they can put in that spot and find that great success that they've been looking for. Um, it's interesting. They lose their top target. DJ Moore in the process as part of that trade. Interestingly enough, they probably wouldn't even be in position to make that trade if DJ Moore had kept his helmet on when he scored that game when he touched down against the Atlanta Falcons, or Eddie Pinero did not have the greatest choke job we've seen in years uh, for the Panthers at the kicker position in the exact same game. The Panthers might win that game and therefore win the division, taking them out of that number nine spot, making it impossible for them to trade up to the number one spot to land this quarterback meaning DJ Moore doesn't move teams and he's still a Panther today. It's crazy how little things can make such a big difference when it comes to the trajectory of a team or to a player's career. But anyway, those uh, things we don't normally see, DJ Moore uh, with a boneheaded penalty and Eddie Pinheiro missing easy field goal attempts, both of those things happened that day. And now we have a totally different scenario going into the 2023 season. Um, so that off season ends with an incredible run by Steve Wilkes uh, as the interim head coach of the team. The team's in a terrible position when he takes over They're, I believe two and five, they trade away Christian McCaffrey. Uh, everybody in the world is talking about the Panthers are tanking. The Panthers are tanking. The Panthers are tanking. And then Steve Wilkes comes in and wins however many games he won uh, to put us in position to almost win a terrible division um, and go to the playoffs. If it wasn't for a J.C. Horn injury at the end of the season, there's a pretty solid chance we beat the Bucs uh, in Week 17 and run away with the lowly NFC South. Fortunately for us at this point, that's not what happened because now we hold the number one pick in the draft. It was rather controversial when the Panthers uh, decided that they didn't want to bring Steve Wilkes back. And I completely understand it was a bit controversial because Steve Wilkes had done such a great job uh, taking a team that had no business sniffing the playoffs uh, and, and taking them one game short of a playoff appearance. But the Panthers wanted an offensive guy, A, and they knew they wanted to get a young quarterback. So they needed somebody who could – develop a quarterback and let's be honest if you want someone to develop your young, young quarterback you would rather it be Frank Reich than Steve Wilkes no offense to Steve Wilkes uh so that kicks off what become what we didn't know was going to be um one of the wilder probably the wildest Panthers offseason we've ever seen so Frank Reich comes in uh David Tepper says here's however much money you need I want you to get me an all-star staff and that's exactly what Frank Reich did. Uh, he gets a Jero Vero as defensive coordinator, Thomas Brown from the Rams as the offensive coordinator. He gets Deuce Staley, Jim Caldwell as his assistant coaches. Um, and, and I won't get into all of it right now, but the coaching staff that they put together is just all-star name after all-star name from top to bottom. They did an incredible job. Uh, they retained James Campen, uh, great offensive uh, lines coach. 
Uh, then they start adding free agents. You look at guys like Deshaun Williams, Shy Tuttle. Between the two of them, 52 games started in the last two seasons. They add uh, Von Bell as well to the defense, four interceptions, two forced fumbles last year. Probably my favorite signing of free agency is going to be Von Bell. I think he's going to be able to make a heck of an impact on our defense. And more importantly, it's going to allow Jeremy Chin to play closer to the line more often. I think that's going to be huge for the Panthers. Um, but then you look at the offensive side of the ball. Um, Scott Fitter said that the team was in a position where they can now have a quote unquote sexy off season. And that's exactly what's happening, especially in the offensive side of the ball. We just talked about, you know, DJ mortgage traded, which is unfortunate, but they replace him with Adam Thielen and DJ chart. That's two former pro bowl wide receivers. Now, I know Adam Thielen's not the Adam Thielen he once was, but he's still a serviceable wide receiver for sure. And DJ Chark, if it wasn't for injuries, who knows what he could have been the last few years. And Frank Reich spoke on that today. He feels that um, DJ Chark had a procedure on that injury that had been nagging him. I believe it was an ankle or foot or something. Uh, he had a procedure done, and Frank Reich believes that that injury is going to be behind him and he's going to be able to stay uh, healthy moving forward. So hopefully that's the case, and he he has the chance to make a big impact for the Panthers here um, here in 2023. He's a big-time player when he's when he's healthy and he's on the field. Uh, like I said, former Pro Bowler uh, back in 2019. So we'll see what he can do. Hayden Hurst uh, is another pretty big signing for the team on the offensive side of the ball. He was a key piece for Cincinnati uh, last year with Joe Burrow, obviously – uh, you know, they made a deep playoff run, and uh, he was a big part of that. He was a clutch player. He moved the sticks. He came through in big situations, made plays for the team, obviously. Uh, then you get Andy Dalton. You get Josh McCown. Those are going to be huge pieces for whichever quarterback they take in this draft with the number one pick. Uh, they're going to have a great room uh, around them that they're going to come in and work in it every day, so – they're setting this young quarterback up for success, and I absolutely love that because so many times in the NFL you see quarterbacks come in and they're set up to fail from the very beginning. Guys who come in with all the hype in the world and they have no shot to do anything because the situation they walk into is terrible. It's always a terrible situation. That's how teams get the number one pick. So I love what the Panthers are doing as far as setting this guy up for success. Um, like I said, I want to know what you guys think as far as who we should take. Uh, I'll just go ahead and say it out loud. I'm a big C.J. Stroud guy. Um, not to take anything away, from, anything away from Bryce Young. I love Bryce Young. But personally, out of the two, I would take C.J. Stroud. Like I said, I'm interested to know what you guys think as far as that goes. So please let me know. Um, again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please like, please subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff. And we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, peace out. Keep pounding.